Hey there. I have a question that keeps coming to me over and over again. And that is, how do we handle it when our kids want to know answers to things that simply aren't age appropriate for them? Now, if you're going through trauma, if you've escaped abuse, this can be really tricky because they've experienced it too, and you're probably not free to talk about it. But it's also an equally important parenting question for any kind of subject that comes up that's just like, you know what, <clears throat> you've heard about this, you've talked to someone about this, you've had this concept inter introduced to you somehow, and you're just not old enough to handle the whole answer. So um, I see a bunch of people hopping on right now, and while we are letting some more people come on, I, I wanna show you a surprise. Who wants stocking stuffers for Christmas? Look at this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with this right here. Oop. Tell me, darling, what will you do with your one wild life? What will you do? What will you do? Here's another one. Metamorphosis. Oops, you know what? This is backwards and that's messing me up, but it's a butterfly and we're sisters, and it's the metamorphosis. We're gonna have a lot more in the spring or when weather changes um, with this, this collection, but it's a, a new one for right now. And last, but well, not last, I also have mugs in this, which I just got these in the mail right now, yesterday afternoon. This is a huge, awesome canvas tote bag and ladylike jail. Now, I am not generally a big fan of skulls and stuff. I, that's some people's thing, it's not mine. But, you know the whole jail, the tent peg, and then the prophetess Deborah in Judges uh, 5, I believe it is, uh, saying most blessed in Israel are the hands of Jael. Um, really, <laughs> it's, it's a thing. And I've got this gorgeous suede, soft cover journal as well. Lined, lovely smooth paper, hard cover, perfect for Christmas. Anyway, just throwing that out there. They're in the store and the link is in the caption. Now, let's talk about how do we help our kiddos when they need when they feel that they need to know truth that is bigger than they are able to handle at whatever age and maturity they are. So I'm gonna give you a story that you can tell, and it is from the book, The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom. This is a perfect time to hit share, by the way, if you're watching this and you have friends who might benefit from this. So hit share, drop a like, and it will tell Facebook that this is something other people should see too. So in the book, The Hiding Place, Corey Ten Boom tells a story of when she was on a train with her father. And speaking of trains, I could not have timed that better. There's the train. <laughs> All right, we have like, on the train with her dad and her dad well she asks her dad a question about sex actually and she'd heard someone say something somewhere and wasn't sure what it meant wasn't sure what this question was about so she asks her dad they have a close relationship and he looks at her and he answers with an illustration and he says Corey get up and go and pick up my suitcase. And she looks at him and she's like, Papa, I can't. It's too big for me. It's way too heavy. He says, that's right. And so are some topics. Some topics are too heavy for you to carry. So, because I love you, 
I will carry those topics for you until you are old enough and strong enough to carry them for yourself. And that means, <laughs> you thought that was planned. Nope, that was not planned. That, that little train honk was entirely coincidental. So she says, yeah, I, I can't carry that. And he says, you're right, you can't, you are not strong enough. I will carry it for you until you are old enough and strong enough to carry that burden for yourself, to carry the burden of that knowledge for yourself. Now, when we're dealing with kids who are going through difficult circumstances, who are going through challenging experiences, when they have been exposed to trauma, when they've got their own trauma, certain personalities of children are, they, they want to resolve the trauma by making sense of the situation. And so they want so intently to find answers to questions that they are simply not prepared or capable enough to handle. And it can feel incredibly frustrating, like you are breaking their trust when you will not answer their questions. So that being said, it is important for, um, for, for you as a parent to have a good go-to standard answer. And it needs to be something that both reassures them that you are loving and trustworthy, as well as giving them the promise of resolution in the future without compromising the level of maturity that they're able to handle. So that means that things like this story, kids are very visual and very story-oriented learners. So let's just say you have a kid, I, I, I was just talking to someone oh, the other day who has a 12-year-old granddaughter and that child keeps asking, I want to know the truth. I want to know what's going on because there's a lot of dynamics going on in their family. And the grandmother is just like, I can't tell you. I'm not free to tell you that stuff. And it's put a wedge between her and her granddaughter because she's just not free to tell them. So I gave her this story and suggested that she do a couple of things. One, share that story. And then explain to her, to your granddaughter, that um, when you are old enough, at the minimum, when you are 18 and a legal adult, if you would like to come back to me, I will tell you the truth to the answers for every question that you have. I'm just not free to talk to you about it until then. But whatever evidence, documentation, truthful answers that you have, I mean, the, to questions that you have, when you're 18 and an adult, I will unbox it all. I will answer everything to the best of my, my ability. And in the meantime, get a journal and offer that whenever she has one of those questions come up, that you will write it down. That way she can mentally let go of the tension around that question and know it is written down, it is safe, it has been filed for future handling. So you're not just saying, I can't answer that. I'm not trying to talk to you about that. I can't talk to you about that. Well, uh, you shouldn't ask those questions. Kids need answers. And sometimes they want answers badly that they simply aren't equipped to handle or you are not free to give. So if you get that journal and uh, you, you put it all in one place, every question they have that you're not able to answer, write it down. And then remind them each time, hey, we've written it down. It's safe, it's tucked away, and when you are ready and old enough and mature enough, at the minimum, when you turn 18 and you're an adult, we can come back to these questions. And if you've got answers for some of them and we don't need to go over them by then, that's cool. But if you're still wondering about the answers to these, they're safe, they're waiting for you, and I will answer them for you. All right, I hope that helps and it gives you some guidance on something you can do practically with your kids. And once you've told them that suitcase story, then ever after you can say, you know what, sweetie, that is a suitcase subject. That's one of those things that I'm just gonna have to carry for you until you're older and stronger and you're able to carry that for yourself. So I'm just not gonna get involved in talking about it with you. 
I'm going to have to let you wait. I'll carry the burden of that, that knowledge, those facts, that truth, this situation, until you are old enough to carry it yourself. All right, drop me a comment. Tell me what you think. If this is useful to you, definitely pass it on to another trauma mama if you feel like there's someone you know who could benefit from it. And you know what? Even if it's just a fellow parent who's just dealing with all the typical fellow parent stuff, it might be useful to them too. Thank you for hanging out with me today.